Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time we finally met up with Count Orisi in the year 1999, minutes away from New Year's Eve. And yeah, he's the one that kind of orchestrated the whole arisal of Vukudlak. And we have our epic showdown that lasted 15 seconds because he's a little bitch even after all these years, all these millennia. We're stronger than him. We made our way to the flesh. What was it called again? Temple of Flesh? Maybe Temple of Flesh. Something like that. Uh, and made our way through said temple. And had ourselves a little mano y mano. Well, five against mano. Uh, against Wukud Lock, where he beat my ass countless times. I. Again, I fought him a lot. A lot, a lot. Remember the first boss in the that I fought in the... Um, what was it? The Tremere camp. Way back in the day. That guy that guy took a long time. This guy took even longer. I can't... We, we beat his ass. I finally beat his ass after kind of gaming the system a little bit with rocket launchers. And he just basically opened a hole... A little, a, a giant goatsy hole, and we fell through into a lower level. So I guess we have to go back up and hope he surrenders. I, I guess I don't know, but that last time I I had it had enough. Okay, so cathedral flesh. There we go. Okay, that was interesting. You guys want to heal, maybe? Okay, that, that was my bad. I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah, they should be able to get blood on their own. Um, okay. Let's go fuck that guy up. I killed him. What is that? Oh, silver. Um, and we have a dead body here. Of I don't know who. Some skeleton. I am the wall of memory. I contain the secret thoughts of Inezka. Oh. Okay. I am damned. In the holy orders, I once dreamed of the eternity of bliss that would be mine for my devotion to the Lord. Eternity is now mine, but not bliss. I shall live as long as a voivod, or as long as a voivod is pleased with me, or as long as a voivod is pleased to defile me. Heavenly bliss is not to be my lot, only empty torment. Yet still I dare to hope, still I live. Oh, Aneska. What the fuck, man? Who thought that was a good idea? Is it going to do it for all of them? Oh, God. I have lived for 50 years. All I loved are dead and gone. My beloved Kristoff has perished in the fall of Visserod. His sacrifice has preserved innocence in the world, and so I rejoice. 
but my suffering grows with each passing night. The Voyevod takes great delight in seeing me rise with fresh hope, for it means he may once again drag me down. Should I surrender all hope and break as the Busa is broken, his pleasure would be at an end. Yet I will not abandon my hope, even though such hope fills his empty heart with glee, as it fills mine with pain. I cannot bear it. So... That is summarily disgusting. Okay, so even though she put on an... When she was like, when we first met her as a ghoul, she was like, ha ha ha, you've fallen into our trap. Um, but now she's like repenting because he's saying, she's saying that he fell in the Battle of Viserot. Right? Which is like right after we beat... Um, like we tried to save Aneska and like a pillar fell on us and then... We wake up 800 years later. Um, so time has passed. So was she acting or was she under a spell? Like, I don't really, I don't really get it. Oh, that's, okay. All right. I, I For can't. more than 200 years, I have suffered every possible form of humiliation and defilement. I have fallen from the chaste and inviolate woman I once was, yet I have borne it all with hope in my heart. But now I am sinking into the murky depths, and the last whisper of hope in me is fading like the final bubbles of breath from a drowning woman. As we grow close to the day of his resurrection, Vukad Locke has found the only defilement I cannot bear. He has decreed that I inflict defilement on others by binding innocent men and women into the walls of his accursed cathedral of flesh. His power compels me, and I cannot resist a direct command. I can endure my own degradation, but I cannot abide to befoul others. I fear I shall shatter like glass. My poor, poor Aneska. This is my doing. Every humiliation she suffers is on my head. Kristoff, you can't blame yourself for the choices she made. I mean, yeah, she's definitely right. I, perhaps thou art correct. It's not your fault. You have to move on. Okay, who thought this was a good fucking idea, man? Like, in, how about just, like, a fucking mirror that, like, looks like water or something, and, like, her face is on... Like, why this? The fuck is this? I got a fucking mirror. two centuries and a half after Vukudlok took me, and his resurrection draws nigh. He now demands that I surrender the final shreds of my honor and perform evil acts of my own volition. I cannot defy my master's command that I defile others, and when I resist him, my poor body carries out his tasks against my will, like a puppet. He's driving me mad. So I must change. Rather than resist the evil I am compelled to do, I now embrace it and perform my tasks with zeal. The master favors me, and as I embrace his evil, he gives me greater power. I have been Lebusa's equal since my arrival. Now shall I take over her duties, gladly trading the final measure of my innocence for control over the Voivod's worldly affairs. Tis the only way. <gasps> oh no! She gave up! I'm so sorry, Kristoff. Kristoff, are you okay? Thou dost squander precious time in foolish talk. Come, we still have much blood to spill. Or, I mourn for her soul. I mourn for her soul. What's our... We're still at 90 humanity, eh? I have now lived more than 300 years past my natural lifespan. 
I have committed atrocities beyond all imagining, but my plan has succeeded. Though Vukodlak has extraordinary power, his exile from the world makes him weak. He must act through Labusa, who wields great power within our haven. But in just a few years I have usurped all of Labusa's power and left her a wretched outcast in the cathedral of flesh she helped build. Long ago the Voyevod stripped her of her soul and gave her power in exchange. Now that I have taken away that power, she is a pitiable creature indeed. She has no place here, yet she cannot leave. I would lament her fate, but I have no tears to shed, even for myself, for Resurrection Day draws nigh. Ugh, that gives me the creeps. This is supposed to be the purest woman in the world? Uh, Lily, I think you should really zip it. I'm only trying to help Kristoff get over- Zip it! <sighs> You're right. Kristoff, I'm so sorry. You must be feeling awful. I wish I could... My feelings be damned. Tonight, we slaughter every denizen of this foul place, or die in the attempt. <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, even though I just met you tonight, we're with you. You know, it's funny that Lily mentions like, oh man, this gives me the creeps. I'm not seeing much of a change in Aneska's demeanor. You know, like in the last diary, she was like, I have to give up my my innocence and my purity to uh, not be fucked over, basically. And the next one, she's like, yeah, like, I pity her, but, you know, like, I don't have any more tears to shed because I myself have become hollow. Like, it's... I don't see that much of a change in it. It's this is basically what like th another hundred years after the last diary event, because she said I lived three hundred years past my natural lifespan. So, I mean, maybe a lifespan back then was like fifty or forty years old. I don't, I don't remember. Let's say fifty years since the last since the last diary entry. I would have thought she was like completely embrace uh, the 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 darkness within her, like the evil in her, or at least be like I did this today, and like um, you know, like I felt such joy, but re you know, really thinking upon it, you know, I I, I horrify what I've become. Like I, I was expecting something like that in this entry. Instead, she's like, yeah, I I I kind of. Flick the dog's nose today. I, I guess I'm evil now. Okay, no, I've had enough of the squelching sound. I'm sorry. On the eve of his resurrection, Vukodlak bade us slaughter the Premisel leaders, even as they began the ritual that would raise him from torpor. I have learned well the lessons of corruption, for I have turned my hand to the corruption of the Voivod's resurrection. In the guise of offering wise counsel to Vukodlak, I poison his heart against those who could speed his resurrection. I accuse the faithful of disloyalty. I accuse the powerful of dangerous ambition. I praise the weak and ineffectual, like the merchant Toad Orsi, as obedient servants. Vukodlak's fear of losing power is far greater than his hope of gaining new power, and so he believes every doubt I whisper in his ear. And so he crushed his own resurrection. Wow. She sacrificed her innocence to stop Vukatlak. I mean, did she, though? He's still here. I don't know if you could ever stop his resurrection. Vukatlak's rage is implacable. His resurrection has failed so often that he blames all the Semitsi of Europe. He desires to move our entire Cathedral of Flesh to the New World where we may begin again. This vast undertaking will involve many shipments of native soil. I am well pleased for this foolish migration shall take at least a century and further postpone his resurrection. Over a century? It took over a century to build, bring this cathedral over? A hundred years. 
I mean, uh, looking at the way construction goes nowadays, yeah, I, I, I guess that's true. One fucking condo will take like, you know, fucking 20 years. Uh, but that's crazy. I guess moving all the soil and shit. Why did they move? Did it say? I Maybe I didn't pay attention. But yeah, halfway across the world. And to like some fucking abandoned area, no less. Not even like hidden. Abandoned. Like, it's, it makes no sense. Why would they put it next to Orsi's factory and not inside? And you could argue there's like people that work there that wouldn't know. I killed all those people. They were all fucking vampires. So even his organization is full of vampires. Presumably people that agree with his principles and and view of, you know, taking over the world, destroying the world. Why, why wouldn't you just have it right underneath as opposed to down the street around the corner in the abandoned where, uh, lot? I don't know. Alas, I fear I can no longer prevent the Voivod's awakening. Lord Vukudlok has gained great power from the fear and apprehension of foot in the world on the eve of the new millennium. These fears feed him, and despite my greatest efforts, his resurrection is now inescapable. There are none who can help me. I can only hope against hope for the return of the one man Vukudlok fears. I pray that God restores Kristoff. Oh. Thank God I don't have to listen to all that squashing again. I guess this is the last time. Sorry. I I don't know why I said that. I guess you had to listen to all those to open the door. I don't know why I said this is the last time. Uh, okay. Society of Leopold. Oh, Miss Libusa. Weren't you downstairs before? I mean, I guess I was fighting with his face at first. I can help you. Why should I enter thy trap, servant of the fiend? Please, for Aneska. She says that if you would have hope, even when your cause is lost, you should follow me. Nay, thou art defiled and damned, get thee behind me. I go, but I go with my sword at thy back. Yeah. I go, but I go with my sword at thy back. Go now, there is little time. Destroy him, and topple this vile cathedral. Now, my dark love. I give you thanks for allowing me to serve you all these years, watching over your sweetly cruel visage in Torpor. My defilement is complete. Yeah, anyway. All right, gang. Let's fuck them up. I guess they just put all kinds of like suitcases here. Oh, rags. Great. I was hoping for rags. I'll take that. I'll take that. I won't take that. Anything on this side? Aw. Up to cathedral. Okay. Sure, I'll, I'll learn a new thing at the last minute. Or I, I won't. 
Maybe Wilhelm will. Apparently Wilhelm would, is, would not because he's not here with me. There you go, Wilhelm. Never say I don't... Don't say I never did anything for you. You survived my hosts. Impressive, your crusade. I mean, they were low-level... Something few have seen. Your final vision shall be that of my true form. Watch as I reveal the absolute power of the Vibond! Oh, great. Longer reach. Fantastic. Oh. Well. Fuck. Okay. Hang, hang, hang on. I'm, uh. I'm, uh. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay. And, and, I'm going to put Firestorm instead of Immolate, or maybe instead of Dread Gaze, because, you know, there's no point. Uh, yeah, save one more time. Maybe choose someone other than me? This guy can take a shitload of damage. I am weak with lack of precious blood. Stand thy ground. The beast ah, burns burning. me. Burning. Burning. Priest calls me. Oh, I thought I had them at aggressive. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess I didn't want to have it aggressive, but... Oh, I'm out of bullets. I am 
weak with lack of precious blood. I don't know why I didn't try this before. I almost had him actually. This is a legit strategy. Blood. Uh, I can't do anything. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I almost had him again. I will get it. Come on, we're close, man. We're so close. Come on, baby! Fuck, I can't believe we went through all that. I can't do anything. I ain't got tired, man. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank oh, God. Now that the fiend is no more, my unnatural power dissolves. I fear for my soul after my defilement, after all that I have done. But I rejoice that my last sight shall be thee. I only pray that one day I may attain thy forgiveness. I grant all forgiveness. 
Though thou art blameless and pure in mine eyes. Then death finds me in joy and rapture. Aneska, my accursed soul trembles to utter these selfish, blasphemous words. But thou need not die if thou wouldst endure. Thou wouldst still have me, Kristoff? I scarcely dared hope. Thy love has redeemed me across a thousand years. I would that I could offer salvation in return. But I have none to give, only damnation. Damnation with thee would be sweet as salvation. Let thy love cast me down and raise me up forever. Take me, my love. Okay, I'm guessing that was the good ending. We finally did it, guys. We finally got through the game, and let me tell you, that was... Uh, okay, that was not as bad as Vukudlak. His, not his true form, the, the fight before. This one didn't take nearly as long. It only took me, like, what was it? 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Not too, too bad. Okay, so, regardless, what do I think of the game? Um, the story is still pretty good. still holds up. Uh, it's um, fairly timeless. Like, well, maybe not 1999, where, you know, you could see a lot of differences from, like, then and how it actually is now. Um, but the story is still pretty good. It's you know, not your cliche uh, love story. But it was also good to see that um, a lot of my memory when it comes to the Vampire series is... Um, not to say that I knew a lot. I really didn't. I was... I'd probably say I was intermediate. Uh, I'm a very casual uh, reader of Vampire. Like, I would love to read any kind of books there are in the series. I don't think there are any in the Vampire the Masquerade series. But anyway. Um, yeah, so my, my knowledge, is, as I said before of the series comes from the 3.0 set um the modern version anyway uh the modern setting because um yeah i didn't know anything about the history of the vampires uh, in terms of like the prometheans and the the fight between the tzimitzi and the tremere and the ventru and their unholy alliance with the bruja all that shit i don't know if that's actually if this story is actually canon uh about the history of it anyway not necessarily characters but like the history that surrounded it I don't know if that's necessarily canon, but it's interesting to see as well. Because the other thing is that um, I, if this concept is canon as well, that characters have to be canon. You know, the whole 1999, Lock, all that kind of stuff. Um, if it is actually canon, then I, I don't know. Well, here's the other thing. We were literally the cause of the fall of the Tzimitzi. I, I guess. Um, due to us... Uh, was it though? There was something that was said, uh, that Ekaterina said. Or no, sorry, what am I saying? Idiot. In the Society of Leopold, the they traced like the whole fall of Israel and like the, the whole fall of like the, um, the Tzimitzi war was quite literally due to Kristoff. I mean, that's what it said in the lore. In the in the Society of Leopold, that w a couple of documents that we read. So, it's... Again, I'm not entirely sure if Kristoff Romuald and his whole game is actually canon in the lore of one of the editions, anyway. Um, I'd be interested to, to know if that's the case, if someone can let me know. Um... But yeah, as I was saying before, it's it's fascinating to kind of go through like the the history, the medieval times, the dark ages, um, and how you know vampire clans were before, um, and kind of how the Camarilla came about, because you know in in the original time there was no Camarilla in the medieval times, sorry, and how times changed the. 
you know, the, the with the clans and everything. We didn't actually even get too much into the clans in this one. Um, not like we pot uh, we could potentially get with um, with Bloodlines, uh, the the next game in the series. Um, we only kind of touched upon Malkavian. We only kind of touched upon the Asimites. Uh, only really kind of touched upon the Tremere. Like you hear these names, but you don't know anything about them. I guess again, that's where the book comes in, right? This is where you're supposed to get your actual lore if you're interested. Um, and as I said before, like there is, there's like forty pages of lore in here, like actual like story, like it's crazy. If you guys uh, get like the good old games version, which I highly recommend, it's it's less than ten bucks. Um, they'll actually give you the, the manual for for free, like it comes with it. You can just download it. Um, so going going into the mechanics of the game. I like the fact that there was multiple discipline trees you could actually dip your toe into. Um, granted, you have to find the tomes for them because, you know, there's a lot of stuff you're not going to be able to get on your own. Like, if you're if you're a Bruja, you're not going to get Obfuscate. It's just not in your blood necessarily to do it. Um, that said, you can obviously learn how to do it. But it's not an innate ability. You have to figure out how to do. It. You need to find the, the the tomes, the books for them. Uh, I like that concept. Uh, I also liked uh, the story. As I said, the story was actually really well done and held up really well. Um, and I'm actually surprised that I forgot most of the story because uh, it was really really well done. Not a lot of cutscenes, and you know, graphics are crude, but you know, such were the times, right? It was this is a early 2000s game. It might even be 99. I'm not entirely sure. And, you know, the the dialogue, the um, the voice acting, not too bad. I mean, there's better ones today. There's better voice act voice actors today. But for back then, it was, it's perfectly serviceable. Like, uh, even for now, it, it's perfectly fine. The gameplay. Um, look, I don't mind the gameplay. Um, the the click where you go and all that kind of stuff, the shortcut buttons, perfectly fine. Like, it, that's fine. The problems I have with the combat, some of it is the game's fault. Mostly it's my fault. I will fully admit that. Um, I'm very bad, uh, very special thanks to all the vampire fans. No slack that were harmed in the making of this game. Okay, well, maybe one or two. 1997, there you go. 1997, 2000. That's when this game was made. 2000. I guess it started working on it in 97, yeah. So there you go. Again, this game came out a year after uh, the world was supposed to end. Dedicated and loving memory. Paul, I'm not even going to pronounce that name. I'm not even going to try. Rest in peace, brother. Um, yeah, so fully admit most of the, the combat was like my fault. And that's because I, again, as I mentioned before, I did not grow up with these kind of games. Um, I did not have a very good computer growing up, like even Diablo two, um, running that, the loading screen, um, the one that lasts for literally half a second now took almost a minute when I, when I first bought that game and I was pissed off because I love Diablo but okay anyways tangent um the I mean okay Diablo there you go another game kind of the same I mean it's not really the same but it's kind of the same is Diablo um I've played that and I was terrible at that game I will fully admit um I'm, I did not grow up with, like, Neverwinter Nights or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, original Fallout games, never played them. The closest, I guess, it would come to was XCOM. I played point-and-click games. I played, like, the LucasArts games. Um, like, I grew up on The Dig. I haven't really... I've never really played Monkey Island before. Uh, but The Dig was, like, a huge game for me when I was growing up. 
the first Diablo, that kind of stuff, right? Um, and XCOM as well, like the point and clicking for XCOM. I'm used to that. I think what it really boils down to, and I had to think about it afterwards, my problem with the combat mechanics in this game is that I can't pause it. Um, you know, with XCOM, it's fully paused. Like, you literally do your turn at a time. Um, and Diablo, I mean... Sure, there, there, there's no pause or anything, but you're only controlling one character. The best, the best way I can describe it is, it should be like how Mass Effect is, or uh, Kotor, or any of the Bioware games, really. Even Dragon Age is the same thing. If you, if I could like pause the game and then just have my, just go from like person to person and do what I need to, like activate whatever discipline I need to, or like have them attack a certain person instead. If I, if there were like three people and I want one person take care of, like the minions and the other one take care of, like the bigger guy at least i can do that here i have to click through each person and get them like i can't even queue up anything i have to do it all real time while i'm attacking you know and i may do something with Christoph. i may want him to do something i may like um i may want to do feral claws and then serenity 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 Celerity. That makes more sense. Not celerity. Uh, uh, celerity. You know what I mean. Uh, claws and then go fast. Uh, and then I want to go to Lily and I want her to do majesty and potence, let's say. And then I want to go to Samuel and I want... Like, I can't do that. I need to do what I need to, whatever I need to do with Kristoff first. Then I need to go to Lily and hope that they do the right thing. Like, hopefully they act the way I'm the, I want them to act. That's my main frustration with this game. Again, I'm not saying it's the game's fault, necessarily. I'm just saying I don't have experience with the whole real-time thing. Um, that said, I mean, combat is... Combat's pretty crude. Like, it, it's pretty basic. Um, that's where all the disciplines come in, right? So... Um, yeah. I mean, that's all I really have to say about the, the combat. The, the frustrations that come with it. Um, even with the enemies, like I feel like there's there's a power balance going on. Like one dungeon set can be super easy. Uh, then the next one is like super hard and then it gets easy again. Then it goes hard again. You know what I mean? And for like the stupidest reasons. Um, like even like with the the Teutonic Knights, I had barely, basically no problem, uh, like going out of the dungeons and all that. And then after that, we were at the we were doing fighting the Tremere again, and the Tremere were kind of kicking my ass all over the place. And then after that, it was the Samitsi, and I'm like, this is stupid. This is stupid easy. Like you would think with the Schlachta, like the having all these minions around would make it worse. No, I had no problem. Even the Underprince with his army of fucking rats. You think being overwhelmed would be a problem? No. It was it was super easy. I I beat him pretty quickly. Even Orsi. Compare Orsi to the next boss and then the next boss. The last boss was easier than the previous one. Anyways, you guys know what I mean. Um Yeah, the, the, those are basically my my issues with the game. What I liked about it, what I don't like about it. Would I recommend it? Yeah. Play for yourself. I mean, the other cool thing is, again, going down, having so many disciplines, types of disciplines that you can learn as well. Um, I mean, it, it, there are so many different ways to play this, whether you want to be like uh, magic based or actually melee based or even being a kind of a controller. There there was the one where it's like you control minds, control a person and have them attack for you. Would have saved me in, against the fucking Giovanni. With their, uh, you know, with their fucking ghosts and shit. To have one guy go on there and try and beat the shit out of him while he gets killed himself. Um, however, I would not play this again without cheating. I will be fully honest in that. And I did consider, I honestly did consider cheating for a little bit. Especially with um, Lukudlak. But I'm like, I've gone this far and I don't want to cheat. And I haven't. And I'm proud of myself for that. But, 
I would not recommend playing this without cheating. Unless you really, 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 really want the original experience, but I don't know why you would. There's better games, better systems out there, like better combat systems. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, that's that's it for this game. Um, the first uh, in the series, I guess. Um, again, I, I'm going to be playing Bloodlines and hopefully Bloodlines 2 when it comes out later this year. Uh, hasn't been confirmed, although uh, the developers Chinese Room are saying everything's going according to plan, like we're right on schedule, but they haven't given a solid date. Just fall of 2024. So, yeah. A lot to look forward to. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.